I uh, didn't expect you to be my passenger. Oh, I didn't didn't expect you to be my Uber. How you been? Uh, after uh, Book's ride, it's been a bit uh, dry. Uh, especially after um, Book's ride crib four about two and a half years ago. Uh, yeah. Well, um, are you, are you gonna get in or? Well, I, I did pay for it. So. Uh, where are you headed? Uh, the books right, crib number five. The one next to number four. Right, okay. You could have, I mean, uh, you could have. Hi and welcome to Books Right Crib number five. I'm Oscar Crisp and this is Ben May. And we're here today to talk about Books Right as a whole. And it has been two and a half years yes. since our last Books Right Crib. So a lot has changed, a lot has happened. We're no longer in school. That's it. That's all that's happened. Why has it been two and a half years? <sighs> that is a good question. I'm going to say um, the Books Right Crib series was really hard to make because we didn't have that much time. We focused on like 100, um, 200 films in that time. <laughs> <laughs> and we just never got around. We weren't, you know, we weren't exciting enough. We didn't mm -hmm. have anything that was cool enough to share with everyone. But now we are. And we are cool now. It's insane the amount of stuff that we have. Mm. We're talking short films, short films, Short films, short films, film festivals, short films, porn. Hmm. No, we have a lot of exciting stuff um, coming your way. I don't know when I say your, just the way of the people. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, plenty of short films, you know, uh, film festivals and stuff like that. Definitely. What else have we got? Um, we have some new cast members. Oh yes, we have some exciting new cast members. Um, we have Harry Bowkley, who mm -hmm. is still a school student, but extremely talented. Yes. Great bloke, hilarious. Um, funny, funny, funny. I feel like he's going to bring some really great um, comedic characters to, to Books Right, oh, which definitely. is really exciting since we're not funny at we all. Have... <laughs> And uh, we're also looking for a few new female actors uh -huh. um, that I'm starting to kind of find. I understand the concept of females. Females, I've struggled as such. in the past. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not as bad as Brendan Noble. No, Brent, uh, poor bro. Yeah. Respect, buddy. Respect. Oscar, tell us about like what you're doing at the moment. Um, you know, university-wise, and what you're looking forward to in books, right? Um. Well, I'm currently studying um, Bachelor of Creative Industries, doing film and TV, slash Bachelor of Business at QUT. Um, keeping me occupied, um, I, got, I get to obviously do film and TV stuff, which I love. Um, and it's great to have Books Right as a platform just to muck around and, you know, kind of implement some of the stuff I learn um, at university here. Um, and what was the other part of that question? I don't know. I don't know, I think you uh, got that pretty pretty well. Yeah, cool. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Cheers, guys. Benjamin, what are you doing? Thank you for asking, yeah. Oscar. Mm. Um, that's a really interesting question. I started off the year at the University of Queensland studying a Bachelor of Arts, and I thought, you know what, I want to do something more hands-on. Um, I left uni, I'm still enrolled as a student. Uh, I can join back at any time, but I focus on my acting, which is a huge step for me. Um, I've been doing some stuff with the National Institute of Dramatic Arts, um, auditioning for acting schools, QUT, um, NIDA as well, and been doing a few classes at La Boite, loving it, really finding myself, really enjoying my acting, and hopefully see how it goes, doing that. that. Uh, 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm going to as to how boring that was. So, Oscar, uh, let's talk about Books Right now. Um, you were the director of the Books Right short film, Alan. Mm-hmm. Um, tell us about that, because obviously that was a huge production for us. Um, yeah, it was definitely. Um, it was our first um, documentary. So, first of all, we were definitely out of our comfort zone um, filming that. And then we also did a, we focused it on a subject matter that was very close to us. Um, so obviously that was very rewarding, but we had to be, um, you know, very cautious as to how we tell the story. And I think we managed to do that um, well. Um, and it was a, it was a very um, good project, like heartwarming project to um, do. And I'm really quite happy that we did do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, being in, you know, being the producer, seeing, you know, the, the film in its filming stages and in its editing stage and then seeing it come together like the story that was told was um was amazing and you know we hope that alan campbell can uh, have that as a bit of a you know memento of you know the amazing man exactly. that he is really really um and so now i think we're looking into possibly um extending mm-hmm. um alan the, extending the story the, extending well. the story uh yeah and um We'll see how that goes. That's still in kind of the planning stages, but we'll definitely be in touch with um, Alan uh, in the future. That's for sure. And if anyone was wondering, um, we did enter the festival. Mm. Um, unfortunately, like we did not um, place because there were over, pretty sure over almost 200 entrants in the L1 category. Exactly. So the chances of winning would were very slim. Um, but the real um, win for us was just the community support shown as well. Huge amount of support. Um, we got crazy number of shares on Facebook, the mm. amount of um, supportive comments and stuff. So first of all, I'd just like to say thank you for everyone um, that did do that. Um, and thank you for all your support. Yeah.